So, here we are rolling out the pie crust for the chicken pot pie. Now this is a little bit tricky. Uh, you want a cool surface, uh, cool dough, and use lots of flour. So that's one reason I don't put a lot of flour in the original dough, because I know it's going to pick up flour through this process. So, plenty of flour down below. I hope this works. I haven't done this in a while. Put some flour on the roller. And the secret is to work a little bit fast. You don't have all day before it heats up and the butter melts and it sticks to everything. So turn it. You can flip it. And part of the secret is you do not have to go out to the edge all the way. That will naturally take care of itself. So it's not sticking to the counter at all. And I'm going to put some butter on this before I forget. Put butter in the pie pan. And again, you don't have to really do the far edges. Okay, this is sticking out a little in this, and I want more over here. So I actually took, took some out, and I'm going to mash it back in. I'm not a professional pastry chef, but I found a way that I can get this to work. Okay, I can tell it's at its final stages. It's consistent throughout. I think it's about the right size. Now to move it, you can fold it over once. It's stuck a little there, fold it over twice. and then unfold it. And you can take um, any extra spots and put them on the empty spots. So take from the extra to the empty and then I just crunch up the top. So this is homemade. And I think I'm gonna put this in the oven for three or four minutes just to crisp this up before I put the filling in. And this uh, worked out pretty good. You can use a fork to make a little edge, mostly for aesthetics, just how it looks. Okay. I'm gonna put this in the oven to cook.
So I am pre-cooking the crust in the um, pan empty for a few minutes.